All right, welcome in everyone. Day one into our booty and abs challenge. So awesome to have you all here. I'm just gonna give a moment for everyone to jump in really quick so that way we can all start together. Hey! So today is obviously a prep day, so it's all about organizing and making sure that you have all your equipment, everything feels all nice and organized, because how nice does it feel when you feel all organized and ready to go, right? Also today, because I listened to you, I heard that a lot of you are beginners, and to immediately just jump into our workout on Monday and go really intense, and then we're gonna hit that weights really hard, because why? We're gonna speed our metabolism, right, when we lift more weights. But today what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and do some beginner movements with you. So if you feel like doing these workouts with me, it wasn't a workout initially today, it was just based off of our calls that I thought, wow, a lot of us just really need that kind of beginner movement. And so if you are feeling it, what I want you to do is go put your workout clothes on really quick and hurry up and jump into your little workout space and we're gonna go ahead and do some beginner moves so that we can move our body together. Really the whole point of today is to get that body just, that lotion is motion, right? And when we are creating that lotion for our body, it helps us with injuries, it helps us really reduce diseases later on, and allows us to really make sure that we're moving the body to give it health overall and everything. Okay, so we are gonna do some movement today, if you guys are up for it. And if you already organized, then great, you already did prep day, okay? But let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna teach you total beginner moves today, so if you're not much of a beginner, this is gonna be just a repeat for you. But if you're a beginner, this is gonna be perfect. And um, we're also gonna go into some knee strengthening exercises today and tomorrow, because I heard you, and a lot of you are having knee issues before you even started the program. So I wanna make sure that we're jumping into some knee exercises to really strengthen and tone these areas of the body. Okay, you guys ready? Ah, I hope you are. Well, I'm not gonna even play music today. Um, I'm gonna keep all that high energy when we do the workout with each other. So we'll save that for later, okay? So go ahead and grab your equipment. We're gonna use just the bar today. Pretty much no weight. It's Again, it's just gonna be beginner movement just to kind of get our body started. I think a lot of us are just haven't been, we've been a little sedentary, right? So welcome in, welcome in. So I'll grab that bar. Awesome. So make sure your clamps are all nice and sealed and tight. Whether you have the beginner bar um, or the um, newest one, doesn't matter. It will both work. They're the same size and roughly around kind of the same weight, anywhere from about six pounds different. Okay? You guys ready? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's first go into just um, picking up the bar. I think that's gonna be beginner movement number one. So let's go ahead and practice our squat press with picking up the bar. So when we have the bar, anywhere it is, whether it has weights or not, we wanna make sure that we're really close up to the bar. So we're gonna just really bring our feet, literally touching that bar, and if there were weights on it, we would even slide our feet underneath the bar so we could even be closer. We're gonna go into the squat. Now remember, there's a rule, we go booty down, Boobs up, that's how we pick things up, okay? So the butt has to be down when we pick it up. So I hope you're doing this exercise with me right now. So jump in right now if you're not. So go ahead and go into that squat, all right? So squat down and pick it up. All right, we're gonna just start there for our movement exercise today. Just as simple as learning how to pick it up. Meanwhile, doing some squats. Oh yeah, that feels good. So keep going. Essentially, this could also look like a deadlift, so either or, whatever you wanna call it. Keep your neck neutral for me. So I'm turning my head just so I can make sure that the volume is going towards your direction. But core is nice and tight, so engage your core for me. How do I mean that? Take your belly button and bring it back towards your spine. Engage it nice and tight. Good. No weight today, just total beginner moves. Love it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a press. So we're gonna combine all of it. So bring it down. The booty is sent back. The weight is in our heels. We're going to clean and press that bar. All right, let's go ahead and do it again with each other. How do we clean and press? We're gonna bring our elbows up, bring our elbows down, which means that bar stays nice and close to our body the entire time. So let's put it together, ready? 
Squat down, pick up that bar. Booty is below the boobs. Elbows up, elbows down. Good, then we're gonna go into that press. Bring it right up over your head and back down to your chest. Bring those elbows up over the bar to bring it slowly down. Engaging your core the entire time. Ready to do it again with me. Oh, we're gonna feel like badasses. Squat, pick up the bar. Let's do five of those, ready? Four, three, two, and one. You're doing awesome. Let's go ahead and clean a press for five. Bring it down. Four, keep that bar nice and close to the body. Remember, no swinging. We do not want this look at all. We want it like this instead. Okay, two, and one. Next, press right up over your head. Push, push. We're just total body movement today, just allowing the body to feel. We're not gonna do anything extreme today. It's really just for those beginners that said, hey, I'm just brand new to lifting weights. How do I do it? Beautiful, and bring it back down. How do you feel? Feeling good? I got a lot of hearts all over my screen. Are you guys ready for the next one? Let's go ahead and do, let's do deadlifts. Let's do that one more time. I think you were just getting used to it. So if you haven't joined me yet, jump in right now. We're getting the feel for the bar, okay? For all of it. So we're gonna do some squat press and then we're going to the next exercise. But let's do this again. Here we go, pick up that bar so it's nice and close to your feet. That booty's down, boobs are up, that's how we pick things up, right? So when we stand up, we press the heels into the ground, engage our glutes. Now we tighten our core so our belly button is engaged through the spine, so squeeze, 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 and we're gonna do that for a total of 10. Ready? Here we go, drop it down. Ooh, pick it up. You got it, that's it. You know, picking up a bar as an exercise? Holy who knew? <laughs> Sorry if you've got kids at home. Sorry about that. I'll keep it, I'll keep it PG. Whew. Good. Two more, two more. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now right here, clean and press. So elbows up, elbows down. You got it. Let's go for 10. Ready? Slightly bend those knees. Core is tight. We're getting an ab exercise every single Workout, speeding our metabolism, shrinking that waist, building the beautiful legs and that booty all at the same time. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Good, let's go five more. Ooh, feeling strong. Good, just feel it, just feel it. That's it today, it's all about just feeling the body. Good, now we're gonna go ahead and go into a press. I'm squatting because you can't see me. You don't have to squat, you can stand, okay? All right, here we go, press. Straight up over. Bring it down to your chin. Be mindful not to hit yourself, and then press it up. Good, just allow your arms to feel it. Engage your core, don't lose it. Oh, you're doing awesome. And if you haven't been breathing, make sure you're breathing through the whole thing. Good, I'm so proud of you. Taking your life back. Taking your why back. Beautiful work. And last one right here. Squeeze it up at the top. Slowly come down. When it comes to your chin, go ahead and flip your elbows up over the bar and bring it slowly down. Good work. I'm so proud of you for the first exercise. You did awesome. Now we're just gonna go ahead and go into our deadlifts and our rows, okay? So I'm gonna show you RDLs with a bent over back row. So same thing, again, we're not really doing a workout, it's more just movement today, okay? So grab your bar, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and keep our knees soft. What do I mean by that? Slightly bend the knees just a little bit and, and then engage your core. So keep, tight, keep that core nice and tight for me. So our knees do not move from this position. The only thing that moves is our booty. Okay, so keep that in mind, do it with me now. So the feet are hip distance apart, core is tight, knees are soft, the only thing that goes back is the booty. Now notice I have a straight line from my head to my booty, 
okay? So I keep it nice and tight. You do not want to round your back here, all right? So keep everything nice and tight. Your shoulders are pulled back, and we're just gonna drop to just right below the knee, and then we're gonna stand back up. That's it, and if you felt that right through here in that cellulite region, then you did it right. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. Slight bend in the knees, core is tight. You're gonna drop it down just below the knee and then stand back up. All of your weight is in your heels. You got it. You're doing it right here. Just drop and squeeze up. Weight is in your heels. You can even slightly lift those toes if you want to. Now remember to breathe. Here we go, let's go for 10. Ooh, feels good, feels good. Body, I love you. We love our bodies. Mmm, taking care of our bodies. Yes, working them from the inside out. Whatever we've done to sabotage you, we're not doing that no more. We're gonna take care of you so you can take care of us. All right, let's go five more. If you feel it in all the right places, I want you to scream, hell yeah! Ooh, you feeling it? Hell yeah! Now, if you're not feeling it all the right places, go ahead and post a video in the Facebook group and we'll give you some directions on your form. Okay, two more. Stick that booty clear out, push it out, push it out, and back up, good. Now, we're gonna add our back row into that, okay? So we're just gonna build off of it. So we're gonna drop it down, keep that bar nice and close to you. We tend to want to do this. No, 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 keep the bar nice and close. We're gonna engage the core, which means tighten your core so it protects your lower back. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna squeeze that bar up alongside our legs so that our hands come up to our hips, and then we're gonna squeeze it back down. That's right, squeeze it up, squeeze it back down. We're gonna go three more right here, squeeze it up, and back down, you're working all that bra strap area. Ooh, feels good, huh? Two more. Breathe. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> That's it. Good. Stand up. How you feeling? You doing okay? If you need to grab some water, feel free to grab some. I'm gonna go ahead and do now that whole entire thing put together. All right, so pick up your bar, booty down, chest up, that's how we pick things up. All right, here we go. Soft knees, feet are about hip distance apart. Deadlift, so all you're gonna do is stick the booty out. And up, let's go. Make sure you're breathing. Two more. Good, right here, what we're gonna do now is go into those rows. So bend it over, squeeze it up. Let's go for 10. Today is a very beginner day, just to prepare you for our very intense day on Monday. Ooh, I'm excited. So I'm just getting your body nice and prepared for what's coming. <laughs> Good, three more, come on, squeeze. Good, two, and one. Good, go ahead and stand it up. You feeling pretty good? All right, now I'm just gonna give you a little bit of um, some dessert here. So we're gonna now just kind of combine those two together and have some fun with it, all right? Here we go. Deadlift, row, Drop it down, stand it up. Eh? Let's do it again, here we go. Down, up, down, and up. Down, up, down, and up. You got it. Ha! Keep breathing, let's go five more. Nice and slow, it's not a race. Take your time. Last one right here. Good. How you feeling? 
gonna check in on you. We only have one more, that's it. That's all we have, just one more. You feeling okay? Feeling good? All right, so let's dive into what lunges and we're gonna do a bicep curl. So we're gonna go ahead and stagger our feet. Now the biggest common mistake I see is that we're stacking our feet like runway models and then we have no balance and it makes it really difficult. So what I want you to do is really open up through those hips so that way we have more balance. The next common mistake I see is that we're too narrow and when we go into that lunge, our knee is going clear over our toe, which means we're putting too much pressure on our quadricep and our knee. So what I want you to do is step it back so that we have a 90 degree angle in this leg. So we are feeling it through our glutes and our hamstrings instead. Now, if that is too challenging for you, what I want you to do is hold on to a chair or a wall and be able to actually pull yourself up with that chair. So that would be first beginner is doing something like that. Or you can even hold on to your barbell and use this as a way to also help stabilize you either way, okay? So let's go ahead and go into it. Lunges, open them up. You're going to push your heel, the front heel into the mat. And when you stand up, push through the heel to come back up. You got it. So push it down and back up. And we're gonna squeeze into that bicep curl, drop it down. Lunge and bicep curl. Good, again, it's very slow and controlled. Today is not meant to be a workout. It's meant just to kind of feel your body and make sure you're activating the right muscles. That's what it's really meant for. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch legs whenever you're ready. Find your footing and when you're ready, let's go. Drop it down. It doesn't have to be too low. Squeeze it up. Drop it down. Squeeze it up and just sink it with your breath. You just got five more. Whew. And rest it out. Whew. Hands up in the air. You are done. Great job. All today was about just moving, feeling, and lifting correctly. And so that way when you go into it, you remember you can always go back to these basic exercises and use that as modifications in our main workout. And the best thing I ever heard was last challenge. One of the girls mentioned, this is the first time I've been able to do lunges and actually feel my booty. And that was a huge celebration as I thought, wow. When we really know how to work out correctly, what type of transformations we can really get when we're activating all the right muscles, right? Oh, you're so welcome. I see all the thank yous. Oh, that's awesome. You can do that, Martha. Jody loves it. Oh, you guys are all on board. Oh, that makes me so happy. Um, yes, uh, Jolene, you'll be able to go back and see all of this from the beginning. Absolutely. Martha says, this is exactly what I need. I am, I, I'm, I'm, I hear you guys. I hear you. I hear you so well. Um, great blood flow. Oh, you guys just are great sports. Super proud of you guys today. So you just keep it up. Keep in mind, um, those that are not in a part of the challenge, um, you will be kicked out of the group and I don't want you to go. So um, make sure that if you haven't joined the booty and abs challenge, or if you're not an app user, hurry up and jump in and go to the challenge or the app um, and hurry up and get signed up because the team is removing people from this group if you're not a subscriber. So please make sure to do that. We have to make sure that we're fair to everybody that paid. I know I have to do my job, but I want to make sure that everybody that has paid feels like you know, it were fair about it all. So, okay. So make sure to go be an app user or go do the booty and abs challenge. If you don't know where those links are, you can actually just DM me, click on my name and just send me a message and I can send you the link. Um, they will be removing people in the next 24 to 48 hours. All right. Bye all. Have a great rest of your day.